ever wondered how essential trains have become to our daily lives? Imagine a world without the rhythmic chugging of locomotives, the distant whistle echoing through the night. It's a world less connected, less mobile. Trains as we know them today are the arteries of our global civilization, pulsating with goods, people and ideas. They've transformed the way we live, work and play, knitting together cities and countries, mountain peaks and coastal plains. But why trains? Why not a world of horse-drawn carriages or ships? It's because trains offered something unique, speed and capacity. They made it possible to transport goods and people over long distances at a pace that was unthinkable in the pre-rail age. They've been the catalyst for unprecedented economic growth, facilitating trade and travel on a scale that was once unimaginable. To appreciate the role of trains, it's crucial to delve into their history. The journey of trains begins in the early 19th century. The wheels of innovation started turning quite literally with George Stevenson, an Englishman who built the first full-scale working railway steam locomotive in 1814. The birth of Stevenson's locomotive was no easy feat. There were a myriad of challenges, from constructing effective boilers to building durable tracks that could withstand the weight of these iron beasts. However, Stevenson and his team were not deterred. They persevered, refining their designs and engineering solutions to the problems they faced. The result? A locomotive capable of hauling an impressive 30 tons of coal over a distance of four and a half miles. The inaugural celebration of the Stockton and Darlington Railway in 1825 was proof of Stevenson's success. This railway, the first to carry both passengers and freight, marked a significant milestone in the history of transportation. This marked the beginning of a revolutionary era in transportation. From humble beginnings, the railway system expanded at an unprecedented pace. The 19th century marked a period of rapid railway expansion, particularly in Europe and North America. This era saw the birth of complex networks of iron and steam, weaving together cities and countries. In the United States, the Transcontinental Railroad was a marvel of human achievement. Completed in the late 1860s, it linked the East and West Coasts for the first time, transforming the nation's economic landscape. Across the pond, Europe too was experiencing its own railway boom. Trains became the lifeblood of the Industrial Revolution, ferrying goods, people and ideas at speeds previously unimaginable. The railways, with their promise of swift and reliable transportation, were instrumental in powering industrial growth. These intricate networks of railways threading across continents weren't just about getting from point A to point B. They were the arteries of a new world, pulsating with the promise of progress. The expansion of railways not only changed the face of transportation, but also significantly impacted the world economy. Fast forward to the present, trains continue to hold a pivotal place in our societies. The modern era has seen the advent of high-speed rail networks, transforming the landscape of trade, tourism and daily commuting. These networks, with their impressive speed, have effectively shrunk the world, making long-distance travel more accessible and efficient than ever before. Trains have also had a significant environmental impact. They are one of the most eco-friendly modes of transport, emitting less greenhouse gases compared to cars or airplanes. This makes them a preferred choice for sustainable travel and cargo transport. Moreover, trains have played a crucial role in shaping our cities. The convenience of commuting by train has led to the growth of suburbs and the decentralization of cities, influencing our lifestyle and urban planning. Indeed, trains have come a long way since their inception, becoming an indispensable part of our lives.